guys, it's me, MJL, and I am back with um, a new episode of Hunger Games Week. And this time we're going to be making a double-sided ninja star that looks like this on both sides. So, from the last video, there was these extra ones that we had two halves extra and two quarter pieces extra so if you haven't already if you don't have the um quarter pieces watch my previous video to find out how to make them you just basically rip the piece a whole piece of paper into fours so that's how you make these and anyway let's get started so the same process as before, you fold and you fold both of them like this, and then you fold in half again, and then you unfold. Then you do the same with this one, fold in half and then fold in half again the other way. So you got two like that. This is the one where you want to do opposites. Um, on my last video with this one, the opposites didn't work too well, so yeah. This is. I made a mistake. This is not the one to do opposites with. You can do the same with the, those ones. But this one, the double sided, is going to have to be opposites. So I'm going to start out with folding this up and folding this down like before. And then I'm going to fold this down and fold this up so now you got opposites now flip them over so that you have this strange shape and that looks like it's in the mirror so they're going to be opposites okay and then you fold this tab from down here all the way up to the um, line that is there for the fold. Do that with the rest of your tabs. And sometimes it's okay to leave a little space. That way, you know, you can... I just realized I made a angle mistake. I have to fix my angle mistake. Okay. So you fold all the way down. And at times it is okay to leave a little space where you end your thing right here because if you do then it allows you to fold now once again fold your corners so that it fold your corners so that it looks like a Z or an S, either one is going to look like. If it does not stick out like this, try folding it the other way because if you don't do it like that, then it's going to not work.
Okay, guys, so once you have folded them like this, you're going to place them down so that they look like a quote windmill. Like this. That is the windmill position. They all go around. Anyway, so how you do this is you take your bottom one and you put it in in the little flap here that the pink makes. Then you flip it around and do the same with the other white one. You put it in the flap. So it should look like a... Not a ninja star, but half a ninja star. Then you turn it around to the side. And you do the exact same thing, except instead of white putting into the pink, you're going to be putting the pink right into the white. You just slide it in there and voila! Wow! This is my first double-sided. I think it's find it a lot easier than the uh, single sided actually although I much prefer the double sided because it looks nicer and it's quite strong I mean these ones can be strong but this I just did a really terrible one so anyway that is how you make a double sided ninja star it is pretty awesome and I'll be back with more Hunger Games stuff in this Hunger Games week. So, have a ha happy Hunger Games week. And let it, hope it's fun. So, next video, you'll be seeing another DIY Hunger Games weapon. Or something you can do in the Hunger Games. Or something for the Hunger Games. Um, or something to reenact the Hunger Games or whatever. Um... So yeah, Craftboard is not responsible for any injuries resulting from paper cuts, uh, scissor cuts, or ninja star scratches, whatever. But we are not responsible. Use your origami and duct tape and uh, Hunger Games weapons wisely, people. So anyway, this is MJL, and I'll be back with more vid videos. Bye!